Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we are going to be doing a theory on the newest MonsterVerse movie coming out next year, which we, after all this time, we can finally say its official name, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, which, even though it's not necessarily real footage from the movie, at least maybe that last shot is, that looks really high quality for it not to be in the movie, but Basically, this new movie has got me so stoked to see Godzilla and Kong on the big screen for the first time, actually, because I only saw Godzilla vs. Kong on um, streaming. Don't blame me. Uh, COVID was still, like, a huge thing back then, and I think it's still a huge thing now, just not talked about as much where I'm from. So, at this point, let's go ahead and dive right into Godzilla vs. Kong. Which, um, I'm going to be talking about the new Titan that we see in the teaser trailer. And I'm just going to go ahead and say this. The theories that I'm hearing about this new Titan, I think are completely outrageous. So, let's go ahead and, um, talk about this new Titan. Which, at first, yeah, a lot like other people, I thought it was Kong. But then I saw the body proportions and then began to realize that this is not Kong. It's much more skinnier, much more slimmer, much more lankier. And it has red fur as opposed to the more brownish fur that Kong is known to having, as you can see by the Playmates figure. Now, some of the theories I've been hurt here and floating around is that this new Kong has so much new abilities underneath its belt with, you know... So much of this, so much of that. It has, like, you know, all these sort of, like, electrical, maybe atomic-like powers. It's immune to the atomic breath. It's so flippin' powerful. Personally, I don't buy it. I really don't. But let's just say, for all intents and purposes, that these theories, theories are true. That doesn't necessarily line up with my theory, but I'll go again that in a sec. Personally, I believe the evidence to support the fact that it would be so like overpowered like that is very minimal. And the only evidence I really see is the blue glowing eyes, which you guys got to understand that that's mainly used for like trailers and purposes. Because if you remember back to the Kong posters, there was like a particular Kong poster where it had like his head so close up to the camera, and his eyes were glowing orange. Under no circumstance in the entire movie does he ever glow orange. The only thing that glows on him is his axe, and even then, that's not necessarily a body part to him. That's another kaiju's body part. Probably a Mudo or Godzilla. That being said, maybe this is a design choice. Maybe this is actually what the Titan can do. Maybe this is what this new Emperor Kong, as I'm calling it, can actually do or is it personally i think that this is not going to be a major part of the movie but it's going to act like a very significant role in the movie what i mean by this is i don't believe this is a current titan anymore i believe that this is a long deceased titan that is now gone so kong can still be you know the 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 last one stand, uh, last Kong of his own species, but I believe that this Kong was the original owner of this. Not the YouTube figure, the throne. I personally believe what we were looking at in that trailer was like a some sort of a flashback. And I know we see Godzilla and Kong's skulls, but remember, that's not necessarily Godzilla and Kong's skulls. That is, members of their species. Remember, it's a lot like human skulls. All of our skulls look pretty much the exact same. With a few exceptions, but like, they all look the same. So who's to say that the Kong skulls couldn't also look the same? So I believe these are just two specific monster skulls that are not meant to be Godzilla and Kong skulls, but... They're referencing to be Godzilla and Kong skulls. I know we hear their roars, but you get what I'm talking about. It's like Godzilla's fin. This looks like Godzilla's fin, but it's not our Godzilla's fin, if that makes any sense. So, 
now that we have that out of the way, I personally believe that this was like the big Emperor Kong of where everything was taking place. And this might have very well been the Kong that wielded these axes. But what happened? That is what we might be finding out in this new movie. Because this new Kong just randomly pulled up and took over the joint when, you know, everything was destroyed. And, you know, Kong himself now has his own home. And, you know, it makes no sense. Because remember, if this really is, like, the same room, Godzilla destroyed it in the last movie. He destroyed it with his atomic breath. Everything was crumbling around. Kong was pretty, knew that place was out of commission. So he got the heck out of there. And he really is taking residence in the Hollow Earth itself. Not necessarily the giant temple. So, what is more kind of things to back that up? So, we know for a fact that if this actually does take place, which it should, there's like literally almost the same throne, there's the same kind of style to the room, a bunch of dead skulls and corpses laying around the place, lots of battles and stuff. We're going to assume that this is the same place, but it, it, it's happening at like an earlier date. This is way before Godzilla vs. Kong. This is like, again, an origin film. What was the name of the original name for this movie? Codename Origins. I believe that this Emperor Kong was none other than the original Alpha Kong. The one in charge of everything. Way before our Kong. Maybe even before our Godzilla. I believe he's long gone. And this new Kong and this Godzilla are going to be teaming up against something else. What that something else might be, we have no idea. But we know this for a fact. This new Emperor Kong, also, by the way, I just want to stress this, it's not King Caesar. Sorry, people on TikTok, but these look nothing alike. <laughs> um, this new Kong is going to have some sort of significance to the plot to this new movie. And I believe that is his, his significance. He was the one who caused all of it. The war against Godzilla and the Kongs, that was his significance. And I believe they are going to show that in the movie with, of course, you know, CGI and stuff. And that's his role. He's not the main threat. I don't think he's the main threat. But again, it's my theory. It's my thoughts and my pure speculation. Anyways, that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.